On rainy nights in Florida, you may see tree frogs clinging to windows and sliding glass doors. It is usually any of these three species, the green tree frog and the squirrel tree frog, which are both native to Florida, or the Cuban tree frog, which is an invasive species. This amphibian has become the most common tree frog in many areas throughout the state. I'm Donald and this is my assistant, Bear. Here on Florida's Invaders, we set out to learn three things about invasive species in Florida. Their native habitat, how they arrived in the state, and their effects on native species. This is the story of Cuban tree frogs in Florida. As the name suggests, the Cuban tree frog is found in Cuba, but it's also native to the Bahamas and the Cayman Islands. Its length measures from two to five and a half inches, with females being larger than males. Their skin varies in color, ranging from green to brown to gray. When these frogs sleep or get cold, they turn white. Their skin is rough and warty, often with a mottled pattern. Cuban tree frogs are able to survive in brackish water, which is a mix of salt and fresh water, and this may have been what helped them spread to different islands. These amphibians have long been unwanted hitchhikers and stowaways. They first arrived in Florida by hiding in cargo containers on ships sailing to the state from Cuba in the 1800s. As decades passed, the tree frogs spread throughout Florida by hiding in potted plants and packaging being transported. Furthermore, they often cling to cars, boats, and other means of motorized transportation. People operating these vehicles have traveled far and wide without even realizing that they had Cuban tree frogs as passengers. Furthermore, they are widely available as pets, and many have been accidentally or intentionally released into the wild. Besides Florida, Cuban tree frogs are also invasive in Puerto Rico and the Hawaiian island of Oahu. These tree frogs are voracious predators that will eat anything small enough to fit inside their mouths, even other Cuban tree frogs. Unfortunately, this also includes Florida's native tree frogs, which are considerably smaller and thus easy prey for these invaders. Cuban tree frogs will also target lizards native to Florida, such as the green anole. Besides affecting native animals, the amphibians can also have economic impacts. They have been able to thrive in towns and neighborhoods and are attracted to artificial lights that attract insects. Some Cuban tree frogs have been known to climb up utility poles and cause switches to short circuit, which result in expensive power outages. Despite being predators of native fauna, Cuban tree frogs are not without a few predators of their own. For example, garter snakes are known to have a fondness for feasting on these particular invaders. We don't yet know just how much of an impact these little predators will have on Florida's native wildlife, but it looks like they're here to stay. The next edition of Florida's Invaders will be a sea excursion to see how a particular fish, the lionfish, has affected Florida's marine ecosystems. Bear and I thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more Wildlife Chronicles. We'll see you on our next adventure.